happened to Uganda? If you guys remember in 2017, a woman was jailed for describing their president Museveni as a pair of buttocks <laughs> on Facebook. So, um, <laughs> seriously though, arresting someone for what they write on their personal Facebook wall, uh -uh, the devil is a liar. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, meet the amazing Dr. Stella Nyanzi. She said that Museveni and his wife have raped all of Uganda in the 30 plus years that they've been in power, which is true uh, anyway she was jailed at that time but she didn't stop speaking up against Museveni even after they fired her at her job at Makari University because of her activism my job was taken away so I'm unemployed I'm unemployable I am poor I am not earning an income I will not allow them to take my voice away from me there's nothing that they can do to me that I haven't seen I have seen it all and I was very scared of jail Having gone there, it was such an experience. I do not fear jail anymore. They prevented her from traveling outside Uganda, limiting her movements and constantly monitoring her. Apparently, though, one of the campaign promises of Museveni in the last election was that he would provide sanitary pads for menstruating teenage girls so that they won't have to miss school, especially in rural parts of Uganda. While campaigning in Lango sub region in 2015, President Museveni pledged that if re-elected, his government would provide school-going girls with free sanitary pads. So that, so that the girls don't run out of school because they are, they are embarrassed by, by that thing. By the way, about 30% of schoolgirls in rural part of Uganda reportedly drop out when they start their menstruation because many of them use cloth or toilet paper instead of using pads or tampons or all these other options that are out there uh, because they are constantly worried that their uniform will be stained. Some of these girls actually drop out of school because boys made fun of them when their uniform got stained with blood and they couldn't deal with facing that embarrassment. For school going girls, the stigma from people around them normally affects their performance. Many school going girls can miss up to five days of school a month or drop out entirely due to menstruation related issues because they don't have access to sanitary materials which sometimes are expensive. You'll find that they'll start shying away, the girls will look aside, the boys will start to laugh they'll call them names and it will become a discomforting process. In fact, I read the story of some of those girls. It was heartbreaking for me. I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. Menstruation is not something that a lot of people in rural places are comfortable talking about openly. It's like a taboo. I'm like, what the heck? However, after winning the election, Museveni did not fulfill his promise of providing parts. He said that there's no money. However, the Minister for Education, Janet Museveni, revealed that this is not possible because the ministry has no funds to cater for the pledge. She spoke to members of parliament's education committee and i want to, i want you also to know that we haven't got the funding for this in our budget yet can you imagine so of course dr Stella was upset about that and she started raising money to provide reusable pads for girls in rural areas and in september of last year she wrote another poem on facebook that got her arrested again i mean they must be sitting on her facebook page this is unbelievable why are they monitoring her facebook page this is so pathetic. In that poem, though, she cursed the day that Museveni was born. <laughs> she also said some things about the vagina that gave birth to Museveni. <laughs> suggesting that he should have died at birth anyway <laughs> so she's been in prison now since like november 2018 this woman is fearless do you need to see her speak in court why are you beating my son you why did you bring me to this place without my consent you know what is happening to justice in uganda yes. is this the sort of justice that works for us a magistrate who is too cowardly to call my complainant look she's at you it is immoral for us to either keep quiet, to be silent, or otherwise to praise a dictator. We can't afford to do that. Now her supporters are always there to cheer her up. I mean, court session is like, what? It's like a rally. <laughs> In fact, one of the supporters once threw an object at the judge after sentencing her to nine months in prison. The convict is hereby sentenced to an imprisonment term of nine months. Omulamzia, chupaka mazi mufesi, na ito msitikala wa mutasi. Whoa. Okay, so there was also a time that she got to court and the judge was not there. Uh, everybody was running late and she was so mad. Give me a court mate. How can court be late? I am a prisoner from Luzira prison. How can court be late? I came on time for court. Court had better be on time for me. Bring me seven to to come and accuse me. Tell Museveni to be a man and come and meet me in court.
what? I was saying, tell them, tell them my mother. <laughs> like, the fact justice, where is the, where is the judge? How can I sit in a judge's chair? I have come to high court and there is no magistrate and I am sitting in her chair with so much pleasure. It is already time and there is no justice. How can justice be laid out? So um, in this next video I'm about to play, I think they wanted her to beg and she refused. Instead, she called their attention to the deplorable condition of the toilets in the prison. Please don't send me to jail. Your Honor, I will not say that. My children celebrate my protest actions. Think about the prisons you're sending women to. I'm not begging you not to send me there. But can something be done about the dirty toilets? The blocked toilets every three months in Luzira Women Prison. We have a sick bed with staff and no medicine. And some women get urinary tract infections. Thank you, Jaya, my mother. So the good news is the High Court in Kampala on Monday awarded her 50 million shillings. That's about $13,600 in damages for violation of her right to movement. Although some people say that that's way too small and that that amount is just an insult. They want her to be paid better. But the main issue is the woman is still in prison. I'm like, what the heck? They need to release this woman. Like, seriously. Now, whether you like her guts or not, whether you like the fact that she strips naked to protest against Museveni or not, Lord knows that we need women like her to challenge the status quo not just in Uganda by the way but in different parts of Africa we need more women like this woman Museveni has no business jailing anybody honestly he just needs to step down 34 years is more than enough to be but anyway you guys know I don't know much guess what I'm just keeping it real